Introducing War! War! Death! A company-wide event ravaging the Gothenburg 2022. Fills our life with the sound of comics. What's up, comic book fiends? Jimmy Coffin for Coffin Comics. Hey, we're having a surprise catacombs today. Normally, we do a whatnot at this time. We're having a little glitch on whatnot, so we're going to bring it to you on our own platform, Coffin Comics. You guys love Coffin Catacombs, so we're going to do it for you. Surprise one today. Before I show off all the cool catacomb goodies we put in there, I'm going to talk about the promotion that we just launched today. Did you check it out? The Hollow Fiends Spooktacular, right? Is that the one? <laughs> this is what we got for you so far. I'm going to show you some of the, the books that um, sold out, but we do have prints on these. So I'm just going to make you feel sad that you missed out on this one. The Sun K Majestic Jack-O-Lantern. We do have prints on this. This one sold out. I am sorry if you didn't jump on it quick enough. It happens. It is another sold out item. This is the same same one, but it is the Naughty Jack O' Lantern. We do have, still have prints on this. So if you missed out on the 250 serial number copies, sorry. You got to make sure to sign up for the Sworn Club membership and you get, get in an hour early before everyone else. It is worth the $25 a year membership fee. Come on. If you don't want to uh, feel sad, this is the place to be. Hey. This also sold out another David Harrigan Super Stunner, Halloween Stunner. But we do have the prints. We have the prints available. Go check it out right now, coffincomicshop.com. I'm going to see some comments there. I'll get to you guys real quick. Hey, we got some more. Uh, the Naughty one sold out, but you got the prints. It's cool. You want to want to pick that up? Oh, here we go. I couldn't find the prints where Julian put those. Julian took the day off today, a well-deserved day off. And uh, Julian, I believe he's out camping. So we wish him well as he's out in the wilderness uh, having fun. And we also, uh, Metallic Card Lovers, Colin, you, check it out. The Hanya Card, Metallic Card, Rookie Card, limited to 100, I believe. But uh, let's see what we got here, some comments. Uh, Miguel, yeah, so many sold out books. Yeah, it's incredible. Love it. Love to see that. Uh, that just means our artists are bringing it every time and they're bringing it to you guys. Uh, yeah, Sonar Fan, got your first, have my print. Hell yeah. Oh, you digging this shirt? Yeah. La Morta means everything. Yeah, amazing shirt. Love it. Sun K. Hopefully you'll get yours soon if you haven't uh, gotten yours yet from the, uh, uh, from the Prime Evil Kickstarter. That's where it's from. Only place you can get it. So make sure when there's, when there's Kickstarter shirts, jump on those because that's the only time you can get those. Hey, good morning, Haley. How's it going? Happy to be here. Yeah, what's up? Adrian, thank you for joining and Don. All right, so I'm gonna keep showing you what we have here. We also have, uh, we do have some of these left, the Hanya. Limited to 25, this is uh, Diego Bernard and High Five Colors. Uh, $25, sorry, limited to 50 serial number copies. You can get two as your limit. Here, I gotta show this off because this is really special. This is the La Marta Last Rites Pony La Marta edition. If you have someone in your life that loves My Little Pony or loves anything uh, like this, now is the time to get it. It makes a perfect gift. Limited to 88 serial number copies, only $25. This is going to make a perfect gift for any pony lover in your life for the upcoming holidays. Hello, now is a good time to do your shopping now instead of the last minute. I've done that a few times. I wait, you wait the last minute. It's never fun if you do it in advance. This is the one you need to get, but check it out. So not only that, Joel Gomez said, uh, if this sells out, he's going to tip in this little extra uh, original art sketch to one lucky purchaser. So if you bought this and this sells out this weekend, you could be receiving that original art of the pony. So if you have a pony lover in your life, get it now. It's going to make amazing gifts. They're going to love it. You're not going to find this anywhere else. It is the perfect uh, gift for the upcoming holidays. You know, people usually don't give, they give out candy for Halloween. Why not give out comic books for Halloween? Why not give it to the ones you love and the fiends, special fiends in your life. So make sure to take care of that. Joel Gomez, he's tipping in that 
special original art. And we thank Joe Gomez. Thank Gomez Jomez. We thank Joel Gomez for doing that. He always comes up with great uh, extra items because he loves you guys so much. He's always throwing in the original art tip ins, always doing a little extra. You know, he's he's an amazing artist and guy all around. All right. So if you missed those other uh, Sun K books, we still have a couple of these left. This is the real metal cover, full color, 24 pages, limited to 99 serial number copies. You can get two limited per. This is the naughty $110 on this one. Go jump on it right now, coffeecomicshop.com. And we also have these amazing La Morta treatments here. Let's see, it starts off with, this is the, it's called Halloween Glow Edition, a gorgeous book. Computer here showing up a little bit of extra light on here. $25, this is Sora Sung, send you Niven June, limited to 77, so you never copies. Then we have the Halloween Candles Edition, $25. Limited to 77 serial number copies, only $25. And check this one out. This is really cool. $80 for the Hollow Glow Halloween, Hollow Foil Halloween. That's a lot of H's. Sora Song Send You Niven June uh, Premium Hollow Foil Cover, limited to 40 serial number copies. Hey, I want to thank everybody who showed up. What was it last weekend? Time flying so, so quickly. It, it was the uh, Mike Chrome. That's who was here. I was just working on Diego Bernard's interview, but it was Mike Chrome. He was here. Thank you, everybody, showing up last weekend to HQ to meet Mike Chrome, to hang out with uh, the Coffin Crew. Brian Polito is super rad. And we're going to be doing more on that in the future, opening up uh, HQ. Also, I cannot forget this one. This is a hot, hot item. This is the glow in the dark. Does it glow in the dark? Let's see if we, what happens here. If I turn off the lights, will it glow in the dark? I've got too much light on here. Trust me, it glows in the dark. Uh, let's see, what if I do this? Is it glowing? I can't see. I turned my screen off. Hopefully it's glowing. It is super rad. As soon as Brian uh, showed us this, of course, we all were drooling. Every, everything that is uh, limited edition glow in the dark is super rad. you got to have it in your collection. If you are a horror kid like us here at Coffin Comics, jump on it. Don't forget, we also have the Hell Witch Kickstarter launching next Wednesday. Well, I'll show you all those after I show you this. So let's look, take a look at the goodies, some of the goodies here in the catacombs that uh, was going to be originally for whatnot. And since we have those glitches, we're bringing it to you here instead for a special catacombs edition. I did show you this too, right? Yeah, also all those that we just showed you, prints. We have the prints. Even the sold out items, we still have the prints. Let's see some comments here. I'll go through um, glow in the dark figures, Miguel. Yes, that is awesome. Uh, Adrian saying, not much of a pony guy, but I like the artwork, especially from Joel. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's not for everybody, that's for sure. And it's it's for people. If you dig it, you dig it. Like Moonshine Mel here at Coffee Comics, she loves the My Little Pony. She's got the office here at HQ uh, set up with that. You know, she's a, a child of the 80s, so she loves all that kind of stuff. So here, let's see, what, what do we drop here in the catacombs? Here's a couple items. Then I'm going to show off some more of the Hell Witch Kickstarter coming up. So right now, go to Catacombs. Go to coffeecomicshop.com. Find that little link that says Catacombs. That's where you, you will find these. Let's look at this together. This is a publisher file copy, Dragon Wars Infinity Verse, only edition, limited to 55. You can find that right there. If you first come, first serve, try to jump on that as quickly as possible, and you might be bringing this, or we might be shipping this to you uh, next week. Check it out. We also added the vault. It came from the vault. This item hails from the mysterious and magical coffin vault. The Coffin Comics vault retains a myriad of comic books, prints, collector's cards, and other merchandise. That includes, but not limited to, low serial number of editions, publisher file copies, warehouse finds of a limited nature, proofs, publisher uh, Brian Polito's editions, and uh, what else? Yeah, the tape on top. <laughs> this is amazing. The uh, the vault edition. This is a number six of 150. It is a the homage of the uh, Shogun Warriors, Death Gun Warriors. This is uh, totally amazing. These are all sold out back in the day. I'm happy that Julian was able to find one of these and show that off for you. Love bringing this to you, the deep cuts. Ooh, just in time for Halloween. Check it out, the number three edition. 
This one is the Devotions Sky Spell Edition. Number three of 99. Love this one when it came out. Sold out so fast. Hopefully we'll be offering this uh, on our spooky prints. Red alert, every Wednesday we're going to be dropping in some new Halloween spooky prints on Coffee Comic Shop. So stick around for that. Uh, we're going to announce that. So we did drop some new prints. I don't know if this was one that was on there. This has got to be in our print database. So hopefully this print will be added to the prints. But uh, right now you can pick up this number three and add it to your collection. Oh, yeah. Hello. This is the Enchantments Tattoo Metallic Edition. This is the Brian Polito Edition, BP Edition. Check it out. Authentically Limited Creators Collection. So these are all live right now on the Coffin Com Comic Shop.com under the catacombs. And this is like, so sharp on, on camera right here. This is a, a BP edition. This is uh, BP editions range in number from three to ten copies per select editions, and they're they are the personal copies of creator Brian Polito. You heard of the artist proofs, but now you have the publisher proof. This is Brian Polito's edition. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one in your collection. It will be a crown jewel in your collection. Go go check it out right there. Let's see what else did Julian pick for us. Oh yeah, another Brian Polito edition. This is a, the Mighty David Harrigan. This is the Naughty Tricks and Treats edition, the BP dish. Look at that, David Harrigan bringing it. I remember this one as well when we first premiered this. Sold out so quick, and it's so cool that Julian was able to pull one of these, the BP editions, and uh, stick it on the catacombs. Here, I'm going to look at the comments as well for you guys. Uh, wow, that's awesome. Not sure which one we're referencing, but, yeah, they are awesome. Sorry, I, I should have pulled that up. Um, Let's see, hard choices between the glow candles and La Morta. Let's see, one is not to the Day of the Dead candles. It it was. Yeah, it is a tough decision on the uh, on those uh, limited editions that we just added this weekend. You know, if it's a hard decision, if your budget allows, pick up one of each. They will make a great gift. I'm telling you. You can, it's all right. You can give gifts on Halloween. You don't have to. Wait for any other holidays. You don't have to give just treats. You can give comics. It's okay. Tell them Jimmy Coffin sent you. Hey, we got another publisher file copy here. This one is the Pinups Wasteland Warrior Edition, limited to 40. And this is a publisher file copy that I have just for you. Uh, oh, lost out on the Dragon Wars. Ooh, sorry about that. Yeah, you got to jump right over to if you if you like what you see. Here's a, here's a pro tip for the catacombs. When we launch the show, go to the landing page, go to the catacombs page, peruse it real quick, see if there's anything you must have, then come back and watch Julian or I show off what we have, and then you can come back and take another look. But if you see something right away, you got to snipe it. you got to act fast. But this is another Joel Gomez original. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Another La Morta published file copy. Go check it out there on Coffee Catacombs. Oh, here, speaking of La Morta, here's another one. This is another publisher file copy. This one is Pinups Punk Rock Edition Limited to 40. Check it out right now. You know you love that Joe Gomez. We all do. Woo. Joe I really want that uh, Lady Death Enchantments Tattoo Metallic Edition. Oh, hell yeah. Not only do you want it, you deserve it. <laughs> and you know what? You don't need it. You definitely deserve it. Okay. Brian Silverman. Oh, that's it. It's the other Brian Canada. Hell Witch versus Lady Death number one is chapter number four of what? What are chapters one through three? All right, we'll answer that question a little later. I can show you on coffincomics.com. There is a link on there that shows everything in the coffin verse. You'll see how the stories play out for uh, Lady Death, Lamarta, and Hell Witch. I can, I'll, I'll be able to pull that up. We can look at that together. In a minute here after uh after we're done looking at this we also added the swimsuit lorenzo Sperlonga nice edition actually i think this is the one where we screwed up and this is actually the naughty but it does say nice but it is the naughty version because she doesn't have that top on she's a little too hot out there at the uh in the middle of the night at the beach <laughs> okay this is okay julian told me about this i couldn't believe it he found the very last lady death lenticular 
These were selling like hotcakes in Tucson Comic Con. I don't know if you can get the light on there. You can see. There you go. You see the cape? It's gone. And the cape comes back. It's hard to get with this glare here. I think it's the. There we go. That looks better. No cape, blood, and the cape. This is the very last one that Julian found for us. These were, we did sell a whole bunch of these at Tucson. We, a whole bunch. We had like maybe one or two that he brought, and those sold out. And this is the last one he kept back just for you guys. So if you've never seen these lenticulars and you always wanted to own one, now is the time to pick one up. Treat yourself to that. I think that's the first ever lenticular that we did. Ah, here we go. Heavens no. If you are a Mike DeBelfo fan, this needs to be in your collection. This is Lingerie Heavens No Metallic Edition. Check that out. That is gorgeous. There is... Uh, She's, she's thinking about it, but she says, heavens, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, oh, we've got more questions here. Uh, so the glow and the darks are good to be shipped along with the books. So uh, what we normally do, though, we can't put, put them in the same box because comics are going to get damaged if it's on this. So it's going to be a separate shipment on that. So when we ship out, it'll be two different shipments. And I think there's instructions on there. Uh, on the landing page itself. So see what it says. If, if there's any questions on that, email us at inquiries at coffeecomics.com and Melody will straighten that out and let you know exactly what we're doing on, on that. I'm not 100% sure, but normally we ship that out separately in a separate box so it doesn't nothing gets damaged. Comics or action figures get damaged. Here's another metal. Nightmare Symphony Metal Edition. This is number 299 out of 300. Looks like Julian find this one. Oh, so I, when I saw this, I remember Brian talking about this a long time ago. I'm not sure if this is, if this character is going to be in this up, upcoming next story, but check this out. This is the Coffee Comics publishing schedule. Look at this. This is huge. This is the Coffee Comics publishing schedule. But right here, when I saw this, I remember that cover because in February, the cybernetic desecration. Chapter 17 is coming out, and I believe this is, as Brian calls it, a prophecy edition back in the day. That this is a character or a design of a character is going to be in that storyline. And I remember he was saying these are the prophecy editions, and this is a character coming out. And here we come. We're coming. It's coming in February. Let's take a look at that one more time. This is, had, did you see this? The 2020 publishing schedule, Evil vs. Unleashed. February Lady Death, May La Morta, August Lady Death, October Hellwitch, and then we got Lady Satanis and Chaotic coming as well. Wow. <laughs> Get ready for a big year next year. All right, check it out. This is, I know people are asking for this. This is another Monty Moore. This is the... A Nightmare Symphony number one, Vintage Air Force. And this is a mock-up. I know Julian had to dig deep because a lot of people were asking about this one. Uh, of course, it you know, sold out, but we do have a mock-up. Mock-up, mock-up, mock-up now in the store. Julian is able to take care of folks when they, when they ask for uh, the goodies. He delivers. Oh, here we go. This is the naughty version. This is the one, folks, really went gaga over. This is the naughty Sky Spell. Also, yeah, keep out, keep a head out, keep, keep, <laughs> keep a look out for every Wednesday. I'm calling it Witchy Wednesday. We're going to be adding all the spooky prints, uh, new prints on here. I'm hoping this is going to be one of those coming up. Elias Chedzuda. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Ladef, uh, Malefica, Decimation, like Ticklers are great too. Dawn is probably my favorite artist. Oh man, Dawn is amazing. If you met her, uh, met her a few times, and when she came out to Sworn Fest, she was so great to the fiends and to the Sworn. It was just amazing. She's just not only an amazing artist, but a very grateful and talented um, person as well. So she had a great time with the uh, the fiends at Sworn Nation, and uh, can't couldn't couldn't be more happy that she works for Coffin Comics. All right, we got even more. Comics dropped into the vault. This is a very special edition of the Catacombs. This is another Joel Gomez. This is uh, the Infinity Universe stuff. This one, this is called the, 
boop, boop, boop. The Marta Vikings, this was limited to 40. True authentic Gomez. Yeah, Joe Gomez just is a boss. Amazing, you can find it right there. Also, oh yeah, a mock-up. I know folks are actually also asking for this. This is the naughty winter solstice. Naughty, naughty, ladies and gentlemen. The mock-up. Right now, catacombs, shop now in the catacombs. Uh, this is the thumbnail I used. This is it sold out on the store. This we offer this. This is limited to 100. This is number 100 out of 125. And uh, Chamber of Horrors, Chamber of Coffin. If you love these uh, horror comics, like we all do here at Coffin Comics, you got to love this homage. I have this one hanging up in my office. Love this. Actually, this was also uh, the Misfits stole this. The band Misfits stole this image for uh, some of their artwork. I was actually going to thinking about getting this as a tattoo back in the day when I was a teenager, but I chickened out and didn't do it. But now I have the artwork on my uh, office wall at HQ. So this edition now available. Check it out. And uh, Infinity Verse that came with Primeval is such a treat. Yeah, thank you for reading it. Thank you for enjoying it. Brian, uh, you know, he's not really a fan, but he loves giving people what they what they want and what they deserve. Um, have you shown the La Morta? Uh, black uh, print. No, I didn't show. I don't have any of the prints on me right here. Um, oh, yeah, of course. Haley loves the title of the next hell witch. Did you notice that? The next hell witch title. Not this one coming up, but next year, Bitchcraft, Chapter 6. We're on to Chapter 5 coming up on Wednesday. Hopefully you guys will join us for that. All right. Dan Mendoza fans, look out. Bad girls rule. Look, it looks like Chucky. Uh, instead of good guys, it's got uh, bad girls on there. Chucky's getting uh, stabbed. Lady Death is popping out in a fun, uh, cartoony style. This is number 37 of 88, Bad Girl Edition. This has got that fun Dan, Mo Dan Mendoza cartoony style. If you love it, you love it. You know you do. Ah, Yo-Yo. Publisher file copy. A lot, a lot, a lot of people see Yo-Yo uh, lately. And uh, they've been begging for it. This is the Sombra by Yo-Yo Edition. Gorgeous edition. Love her style. Love that. Uh, last time I saw her, she was in Denver. I think it was a Denver con when I was out there with Brian. That's where we saw, saw Yo-Yo in person. And uh, I think she was at one of the uh, Sworn Fests. But uh, another great artist. Great style. Great uh Great person as well. Uh-oh. This is the uh, last of the last. This is the Scorched Earth Naughty Go-Ass. Check that out. Ebass. If you saw the Ebass interview I did with him, go check it out on YouTube, Coffin Comics TV and uh, Ebass. I interviewed him at San Diego Comic-Con, and he was signing um, comics as he uh, was answering questions, showing off his uh, portfolio. Really cool. Ah, here we go. What's better than Dan Mendoza? Dan, Lin, Dan Mendoza and La Morta. This is a two-book set. This is uh, Saint of Guns edition. Check that out. Number one. And the naughty edition. A little wet t-shirt going on here. This is matching serial numbers of 138. 138. We all 138 if you're a Misfits fan. And we have that. Okay, we got a couple more. I might as well show you the rest of these that we added to the to the um, catacomb here. Then I'll show you. Then I, I have to. It's it's my duty to show you show off some of these books here on this Hell Witch Kickstarter that is launching Wednesday. Join us for a live. Brian Polito is going to be there. Mike McLean, the Coffin Crew. It's going to be fun and crazy. 6.30 Arizona time, Mountain Center time, Pacific time, I believe that is. Figure out your time zone. And join us live. We're going to be on Facebook. We're going to be on YouTube. We're going to double stream it like we are now. And, uh, yeah, join us for the shenanigans as we launch. 7 o'clock, it's going to go live, and uh, we'll see if we hit that goal. It's like a game. We try to hit that goal as quickly as possible. And uh, once we do, 
you know, we celebrate and have a good time. And then it's the rest of 30 days. It's just nonstop promote, 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 try to get as many people as we can try to unlock as many fun, uh, free bonus items. And if we decide to do it, we'll probably give away some extra freebies during it just for you backing the Kickstarter. All right. They're still in the bags. I don't want to take them out and get my fingerprints all over them. This is the lady death scorched earth, uh, signed by Brian Polito. It is a 9.0. And it's another Don McTague. Gorgeous CGC. Uh, okay, question for me. What uh, out of the three femme fatales, which is your favorite? Oh, wow. I gotta go, you know, gotta go with the classic Lady Death. Of course, Lady Death's my favorite. Come on. If I had to, you know. It, it's hard. I can't. I can't rank. I can't rank the uh, rank these guys. But of course, you know, Lady Death is is number one in all our hearts here at Coffee Comic. Check it out. Here's another slab edition that Julian added to the. It's the whiteout edition added to Catacombs. Brian Signatures series uh, 9.0. It is uh, Lady Death Scorched Earth number one whiteout edition. Still in the bag. Don't want to get my. Greasy fingers on that. Here's another one. Man, more CGC coming your way. This is the Scorched Earth 9.0 signature series of Brian Flynn. I can see his signature right there. Jesse Witchman. That's another gorgeous one. Gorgeous. Uh, okay, here, Steve, are you doing the uh, WhatsApp auction? We have, we're having a technical difficulty. Not able to get on right now. So as we try to figure it out, that's why we're doing this catacombs instead. Actually, you probably noticed we had a um, uh, what whatnot scheduled for Wednesday. That's when we hit the glitch and couldn't get back in. And now we're working it out. So hopefully next week we'll be back on there. And so until then, we're going to be just bringing it here at uh, catacombs. But uh, yeah, we missed doing the crazy uh, intense uh, whatnot auctions, but hey, we'll make do and we'll do it here on our own platform. Check it out. Here is Ebass Go Ass Edition 9.0. This is the Brian Polito Signature Series right here, signed right underneath there. Love these slab books. I just love how they look and the feel of the slab. Do you own a slab book? Not only does it look great on your uh, mantle, but that just feels hefty and real. It feels like, you know, it's going to last the long term. It will outlive us all. That's for sure. It's like a cockroach that will live through eternity. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Please let anyone know that's asking about it. We did the, the update on Wednesday. We forgot to do that today. That's it's not, not up and running. So once we figure that out, we'll be back there. Uh, yeah. See you, Haley. Thanks for, uh, thank you for en enjoying your morning coffee with us. <laughs> Appreciate it as always. Thank you so much. Here's another one. This is the Lady Death Scorch Earth number one secrets edition 9.0. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. I just love the CGC. Love it. So great. Put it back here. All in the catacombs, all in the catacombs. Here's the last uh, CGC. This is the last item here we have on the catacombs. So check it out right now. If you want to pick up one of these, this is the Lady Death Naughty Scorched Earth, signed by Brian Polito, 9.4. Woof. Heck of a cover right there. Got to tell you. And a Coletto. Kickstarter exclusive. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So much to show you. I don't know if I had to pick one thing here. Let's switch it over there to here. Bam to announce this. Hellwitch launching Wednesday. What, what can I show you? I don't know. There's so many great books. We've got the art books. The risque Hellwitch art books is going to be premiering on the Kickstarter. This we even put the little uh, sensor bar on there. Not, not going to show up. They go, oh, 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 too hot for TV. This one is the... Um, Sun K, Sun Kamanaki, and this one is the e -bass. Whoop! Premiering on the Kickstarter. How much Kickstarter? You don't want to miss that. Limited numbers of, this is a limited number. I think it's usually 500 on that. So 
limited edition. Once again, of course, we love the limited edition here at Coffee Comics. Brings up the value, brings up the excitement. So many great, uh, I'm kind of tethered right here. I can't really show you too much uh, over there. Let's see. Yes, all kinds of risque, that's for sure. Let's check it out. How far? I got I got a little. Uh... All right, let's say that's as far as I can go here. The Mr. Envelopes, you got to check it out. The Mr. Envelopes, if you've seen the preview PDF, go find it. Go look for it. It's just amazing stuff. This is this is the Chase Editions right here. Mamma mia, Ryan Kincaid. Come on, Ryan. Killing it. All the different cover, color treatments plus the Omegas. And uh, I got to just show you the, the Beasley edition. So what we have, five days left, two hours left to go. Bam, check it out. Gotta love it. This is the, uh, what do we call it, Legend Edition, which also comes with these handcrafted, colored edition, handcrafted, none of these two will be alike because they're hand colored. So cool, love it. And we even, we figured out we could draw um, sensor bars on here with, uh, oh, Julian figured it out, with uh, dry erase marker. Comes in handy for self-censoring. Folks, uh, okay, yeah, that one gentleman is asking questions about this. So let me, let me pull this up. We can look at this together. Coughingcomics.com. All right, let me share the screen. And I'm going to pull up my tab here for Coffee Comics. Bam. All right. Can we see that? It'll make me smaller. There you go. Let's, let's take a look together, folks. All right. Check it out. So if you're ever wondering how these stories are told, how, what, what's what, come here to Coffin Comics. Click on the Coffin verse. So we're asking about Hell Witch. And hopefully we are uh, <laughs> we updated the website lately. But let's see. So we have Hellwitch giving an overall story. We're going through the chapters. So look at chapter one is Hellborn. Chapter two is Forsaken. Chapter three, Sacrilegious. Chapter four, Wargasm. That's the one uh, we just completed. And chapter five here is. Let's remove that. Come over here. Forbidden. And this is the standard premiere edition right here, Diego Bernard. I love the uh, juxtaposition of hot hellwitch and the cold snow coming down. So it's kind of like, a, what did Brian say? Like a folklore type uh, story. So please join us this Wednesday. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun doing this. It's going to be 30 days of, of madness and excitement, We're trying to come up with new wild things, get you all involved, do crazy updates. Uh, Blow your phone off the, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, blow up your uh, email with updates, letting you know everything new coming because we're constantly doing something new and we always want to keep you updated. So uh, be ready for that. Hey, everybody, thanks for sticking around. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, let everyone know. Uh, Brian is totally confused. Well, reach out. So here, if you have more questions, need in more in-depth questions, join the Sworn Club group. And uh, post it there, and people will, uh, you know, they love the fandom, and they'll tell you everything you need to know. And if you want to get caught up, trying to figure out who's who and what's what, and how the storylines go, go there. It's, that community is amazing. They'll set you up, and um, they'll keep you in the know. Hey, everybody, thank you so much. i got to get back to work. I hear Brian Polito's here in the office. Jimmy Coffin from Coffin Comics signing out. Thank you so much. Tell everyone you know Hell Witch is coming. She's launching Wednesday. We want to see you there. Check out the catacombs. Check out the uh, promotions going on here. And sign up for the mailing list. Jimmy Coffin out for Coffin Comics. See ya.